so Welcome back to the channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 5. The days are going by so fast. So right now, I'm just drinking my hibiscus tea. And today, I'm going to share with you what I spend in a month. Specifically, the month of November. I've seen a lot of videos that are like this. I personally find it really interesting seeing what people buy or like what they spend on and how much they spend for the whole month. So, let's get started. Shh. This doggo is the one that keeps making noise in my vlogs. Say hi. Hi. This is Shine, my toy poodle. My very, very noisy toy poodle. And this is Rain Rain. This is Rain Rain, my French bulldog. Okay, so let's get started. I placed it in my notes app and i'm just gonna like insert a picture of how it looks like so what i do every day if i'm gonna go out or buy anything on shopee i'm gonna list it down in my notes app and i use my notes app because i find that that's the most like quick and efficient way for me to track my expenses so i'm just going to open my notes app and give you guys like a preview of how it looks like so brang quick lang like when I buy something or eat out, I just put a short description and then how much. Like dun lang, like nothing really fast. So the point lang naman is to track your expenses, to track where your money goes. So November one, I didn't buy anything. November two, I bought a 2023 calendar and some decor because I want to decorate my table. November three, I was craving for ramen, so we decided why not try. Mendokoro because we've never tried Mendokoro yet. So we went to the one in Pasay. So I spent 700 pesos there. And then Rard hasn't been to Ikea. So I was, I was like, we're already there. So like, why not go na to Ikea so you can, you know, experience <laughs> Ikea. We had early dinner there and I spent 565. Because I spent 2,290 on like mga organizers for the office and plants. November 4, I bought dog food which was 584 pesos on Shopee. I get this grain-free one. Like, basta kahit anong grain-free dog food. Kasi Rain, my French bulldog, is like allergic to wheat or basta mga grains. So, to prevent his allergies from coming back, we just opt to buy grain-free dog food. And then November 5, we went back to Ikea and bought more plants. So, I spent 820 Oh, and I also bought Christmas decor on this day. Rard kasi is parang setting up his PC and he doesn't have a keyboard and mouse yet. So I told him, don't buy na, like surprise, I'm gonna give it to you as a gift. So I bought it for 2408 November 6, I bought dog food again. Pero for Shine naman, my toy poodle. And then I also bought dog food sauce. I noticed kasi na Shine, my toy poodle, gets sawa right away with like dog food, especially pag it's dry lang. So, dapat laging may halo na parang sauce or wet food. November 7, we went to the grocery. I spent 820. Tapos, we got hungry, so we bought Pizza Hut and I spent 370. November 8, we went to school. Tapos, on the way home, we were hungry because he brought me home. We passed by Frankie's and then we bought wings and yung ambag ko was just 200 pesos. Tapos, we also bought beer for 100 pesos. November 9 and 10, I didn't spend on anything. Tapos, November 11, 11, 11 to, pero I was proud of myself kasi self-control. I only bought stuff that I needed. So, my phone, old phone case was already worn out. So, I wanted to buy a new one. And then, I was searching for phone cases. Tapos, I saw that this one was just 9 pesos. So, ito, this phone case that I got is only 9 pesos. It's has like this cover and then when you put it up it has a mirror 
So, grabe diba? 9 pesos. I bought shorts, which was 160 pesos. I really love these shorts. I think I already have 5 of these. And I'm planning on getting more. I like wearing these shorts at home and like when I walk the dogs. They're just super comfortable and also very cheap. And I needed to buy underwear, so I bought underwear na 178 pesos. November 12, 13, 14, I didn't buy anything. So November 15, I bought shampoo and conditioner, which was 1,396. I got this shampoo specifically because my hair is a bit reddish and para it won't fade right away. This shampoo is specifically for red hair now. I needed new makeup, so I bought new makeup from Maybelline, which was 1,927. And then I bought skincare from Cosar X. Pero this one is mostly for Rard, because I want him to try Cosar X. Tas niya magets kung ano yung Cosar X. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll buy it for you, para you can try it. So I spent 1,232. And sinabay ko na rin yung cleanser ko, the salicylic cleanser, kasi I ran out na rin. And that's what I use every day. 16, 17, 18, I didn't buy anything. November 19, I bought a phone case with a strap, which was 108 pesos. I bought this kasi I was planning on using this for the bazaar. Para, you know, my phone is just here. Pero wala, hindi siya umabot sa bazaar. <laughs> and then... Um, for ito na, nag start na yung preparations for our bazaar. So I bought this Gcash stand na 114 pesos. Actually, 75 pesos lang talaga siya, pero you know the shipping fee and everything. Sobrang cute niya, as in like I'm super happy that I have that and I, that I thought of it. Say on the day of the bazaar, a lot of people paid through Gcash instead of cash. So sobrang useful niya. November 20, I think this is a Sunday, so we went to the pet store in UP Town and I spent 680. Tapos, I bought Rain's food na 591 and wet dog food na 184. Tas, Hygiene and Watson's 185 and 110. Sa hyg I think I bought like panty liners and feminine wash. And then November 21. What happened? November 21, we got our certificate of graduation. So we came from school and then on the way home, we got hungry. So we passed by Gino's Pizza in Katipunan. Tapos, that was 500 pesos. And then, I was because there was a fish store. So I was like, oh, I've always wanted to go to a fish store. And then, biglang meron dun. So I went inside and then I was planning on buying like small, small fish. Lang. But I ended up getting a beta fish for 500 pesos. And then November 22, we went to Mitsukoshi Mall in BGC. Tapos there was Tokyo Glam there. Like, we have been planning on getting eyelash extensions, pero we wanted to get them sana like December. Pero napaaga, kasi we, so, we were there na, so we were like, oh, let's get eyelash extensions already. Tapos, I only spent 1000 kasi the other half, my mom paid for it. <laughs> Thanks, mom! Ito na, yung for the business. Kasi nga, we had our first bazaar nung November 26. And we didn't have mga stuff to, ano, use for the bazaar. So, I bought, I ordered mga things that were gonna be useful for the bazaar. And, medyo madami siya, pero... Inisip ko na lang na wala, it's like an investment kasi syempre it's not gonna be the only bazaar naman that we're going to be joining. November 22, I also bought a cash box na 1,224. Ang tagal-tagal iniisip kung anong cash box bibilin ko. And wala, I was like, go big or go home na lang kasi syempre, alangan naman I'm gonna buy pa bigger cash box once we're bigger. So like, why not get a bigger one na? <laughs> Now that we're starting palang. And then November 23, this day talaga, I got gul I got gulat na naman. Why do I keep saying gulat? Okay, November 23, sobrang nagulat ako kasi when I got home, and daming dumating na packages. Like, as in, and <laughs> I felt bad for kasambahay kasi parang wala siyang ginawa the whole day but to get their shopping orders from outside. So first, yung 5 layer wooden rack na 613 pesos. And then, a 3 wooden crate. Sobrang cute niya kasi 3 sizes na siya. Small, medium, large. And it was 949 pesos. And then, I got this mini chalkboard stands na 780. I used this to write yung mga prices ng products namin. And then, I got chalkboard pen and organizer. Syempre, to write on the mini chalkboards. Tapos, 
this one was like the biggest investment, which is the table and two stools. It was 2,102. Pero ano lang, shipping fee lang yun. It's actually 1,899. So, sulit na rin kasi, syempre, when you're in a bazaar, sometimes wala namang kasamang table and chairs na extra. It's just the table for your product. So, where will you stay, diba? Bought felt board with sand and lights na 232 pesos lang. Sobrang sulit kasi, wala, it's useful. You know, you can put anywhere that you want. Tapos, it's cute. And then, I bought this roller rack na 788. And this is a bit pricey, pero I realized na we need this kasi we sell essential oil rollers and I don't want them to be pakalat-kalat lang sa table. So, at least with this rack, it's like just in one area and you can see it talaga. Also ordered tablecloth na 387, pero hindi siya dumating on time so wala, hindi namin nagamit. November 24, I didn't spend on anything. November 25, I bought hygiene stuff again and then dog food again 184 pesos november 26 27 28 i didn't buy anything november 29 i bought stuff from shein worth 1650 and then i also ordered taco salad from wendy's i was craving for taco salad and then november 30 I ordered an external hard drive worth 2,524. I listed out everything, right? And then at the end of the month, I like to categorize them. So business, home tech, food, drinks, skincare, makeup, dog food, gift, clothes, personal hygiene, and services. I rack them based on the category I spent on the most. So for the month of November, the category that I spent the most on was for the business, which is understandable because I bought things for our bazaar nga. Nauhaw ako. So, that's what I spent on for the month of November and my total is... 30,631. I guess it's fine. Hindi pa kasama dito yung fixed expenses ko. These are just like my expenses that vary per month. Okay. I'm going to be having a bazaar in Marikina. I'm just gonna put the details down below. But if you're from Marikina and you're looking for a bazaar to go to that has like mga stuff you can buy for Christmas and good food. It's every weekend starting the 10th. So 10 and 11 and then 1780. So if you're around that area, drop by if you can. Please don't forget to subscribe if you aren't yet. Give this video a like, comment down below anything that you want to say, ask, share with me. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 6. Bye!